so you're sitting in a cafe in a small town in Italy and a person asks you, where are you from? You tell them, I'm from the Caribbean. And the person responds, oh, that's the place where all the countries are located in the Caribbean Sea, right? As you are about to nod in affirmation, you realize that that does not accurately define the Caribbean. So how do you define the Caribbean? Welcome to Carib Stud 101 channel. The Caribbean can be considered complicated to define because of the different dimensions that characterize the region. Let's look at five definitions of the Caribbean. The geographical definition refers to countries that have their coast being washed by the Caribbean Sea. However, it is not very inclusive because it excludes the archipelago of the Bahamas. Interestingly, this definition includes mainland territories such as Panama, Colombia, Venezuela, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Honduras that are not considered a part of the Caribbean. Therefore, this definition is not precise. The geological definition includes countries that are located directly above the Caribbean plate. The plate being referred to is a massive slab of rock located above the Earth's mantle. This image here shows the boundaries of the Caribbean plate. To the north is the North American plate, to the west is the Cocos plate, to the south is the Nazca plate, and to the southeast is the South American plate. Looking at the image, you would notice that Cuba is not located on the Caribbean plate, but rather the North American plate. And so the geological definition does not capture all the countries that are a part of the Caribbean. So it excludes Cuba, Turks and Caicos, the Bahamas, and Guyana. And just like the geographical definition, it includes some countries of Central America, such as Costa Rica, Colombia, Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama, and El Salvador, which are not a part of the Caribbean. The historical definition of the Caribbean refers to countries that experience similar historical experiences. This definition is the most inclusive because it speaks to the unique experiences of the different colonized countries within the Caribbean. Though the Caribbean experienced the same types of systems of production, such as slavery, colonization, and the plantation system, as many countries across the world did, it is the experience that makes the Caribbean different. The political definition refers to countries that share or have shared similar political systems. This definition is linked to the historical definition because of the types of political systems that we currently have in the Caribbean. These systems are based on the history of colonization and decolonization that we have had. So we currently have independent states, colonial states also called dependent states, and we used to have associate states. Examples of independent states are Trinidad and Cuba. Dependent states examples are the ABC Islands, French Guyana, St. Martin, Martinique, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Finally, there is a diasporic definition. This refers to Caribbean communities that exist outside of the Caribbean geographical region. This includes people who have migrated from the Caribbean to live overseas and offsprings of Caribbean natives who identify themselves as West Indians. Now, this definition excludes the geographical region altogether and as such is not the most accurate definition of the Caribbean. In defining the Caribbean, we have to combine multiple aspects to give a truly accurate definition. Thank you for watching Carbstud 101. Please subscribe, share, like, and comment.